lest some of you think I don't make videos, this is well don't do that, and I have a story to tell. UXW Bill, a while ago, came across one of these SyncMaster monitors from Samsung. His was a 203B that he picked up on curbside discount. I was not so lucky with this particular monitor because I paid good money for this new. And over time, the backlight had started to fail in it, and that became a reliability issue, and I didn't want to have to power up my monitor 15 minutes before I wanted to use it. And I knew that it was probably bad capacitors in the unit, and I decided, you know, I just need to go ahead and fix this. So I ordered some new capacitors. Um, Never mind the fact that it was about three years after the pro problem had started. And I had this gateway monitor that had been painted black by a friend of mine. And I bought it off of him for $40 back in the day. He needed to get some extra cash, so I helped him out and I wanted a monitor. So there it was. Uh, that monitor had nothing wrong with it whatsoever, but I thought, you know... It can't throw the number of pixels that I want at the problem, so I decided, what the hey, I'll try to buy some new capacitors and install them in this monitor. I did that this afternoon, and the old capacitors are right here in this little mini fridge ice cube tray. They were, let's see, these are Capson capacitors, and they're rated at, the two big ones were 820 microfarads at 25 volts, and the small ones, if I can pull them out of here, now let's just dump the whole thing. The small ones were 330 volts, sorry, 330 microfarads, wow, volts, um, at 25 volts. And there were three of those on the particular board inside the monitor that uh, were present. Only one of them was bulged, but I decided, you know what, I might as well just replace the whole set. So, I have to make this video to brag. Something UXW Build said online actually made a monitor work, even though I did the work, and by golly, it cost me not a lot of money. I think I've paid about $7.78 shipped for all those parts, and I didn't need a whole lot of them. One of the other reasons I wanted to get this monitor running is because of the stand that it's on. The 204B has a swivel stand that allows you to go effortlessly, as long as you remember which direction it goes, from portrait to landscape and back. And I'm running an extended desktop here because I just can't be bothered to do anything uh, a run-of-the-mill type of way. So I'm going to hit keep the changes and this is especially nice for if I'm if I wanted to browse on the internet something uh, landscapey here I can make something portraity here and get more of the page up at one time and since this is 1200 across and 1600 deep there's really a lot that can be done on something that's still 1200 pixels wide. A lot of blog sites run on that. Uh, there's a shameless plug for issues, etc. and KFUO out of St. Louis. And that's one of the things that I like to do with this, especially if I'm running Microsoft Word and I'm writing a paper or some kind of long diatribe, I wanna have a lot of length available to me and not necessarily a lot of width. Anyway, that's my little brag video, and um, not to really steal a line from UXW Bill, but what the heck? Um, thank you very much, and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.